Alright guys, welcome to your 11th MySQL tutorial and in this lesson what we're going to be doing is we're going to be taking a look at some advanced filtering using the AND keyword and the OR keyword. So let's go ahead and make a simple statement say select um, the name, state, and we'll also select the city from customers where, and say we want to do this, we want to select the customers that live in California and they also must live in Hollywood because there are a lot of different places to live in California but we want to say okay if you live in California and furthermore you live in Hollywood those are the customers you want so let's go ahead and put state equals and remember whenever we're working with text we need to put it in between quotation marks and we also want the city to be Hollywood hopefully I spelled that right Hollywood so basically what we can do is we already know that we can filter the results using a where statement and then making a test but if we want both tests to be true then we need to add a keyword called and and that only filters the results where this condition and this condition are true so let's go ahead and let me just copy this run it and check it out so not only does Jack Nicholson live in California but he also lives in Hollywood now the rest of the database of course other people live in California but since they don't also live in Hollywood then that also isn't true and what if there is another Hollywood somewhere else like I don't know Idaho or maybe there's a Hollywood in New York well that also wouldn't be true because those people didn't live in California so basically just remember this it's basically the same as you know plain English whenever you say and both the first and the second thing must be true so let's go ahead and take it take a look at the keyword or now if we go ahead and select name state and city from customers where I'll do something like uh, city equals Boston or uh, I might as well stick with California state equals CA then remember I said last time whenever you use and then this test and this test must be true whenever we run this query and we go ahead and hit go and then check it out either the first test or the second test need to be true so they don't both need to be true just one or the other so that's the difference between and and or whenever you use and all of the tests need to be true whenever you use or only one of them need to be true so of course you're saying okay why do we get this California but it isn't Boston it's because as long as someone lives in California or Boston it's gonna give us the results and what if you're saying okay what if someone lived in Boston, California, even though that is in place? Well, that still would return the results because it's either one of them, it's basically like this. Whenever ever this one's true, or this one's true, or if they're both true, then whenever you're using an or, then it's going to return that result. Now, the last thing I want to touch on is this. Sometimes you're going to get kind of weird queries or orders maybe from your boss or teacher let me go ahead and type you guys something weird that I'm gonna just type it because if I try to explain it it's gonna be really hard to explain okay select and let me think of something ID name and city from customers where ID equals one we don't need parentheses for that or ID equals two so that makes sense and city equals Raleigh okay so what maybe your boss comes in and says okay we want to find someone whose ID is one or two and they live in Raleigh so for example if my ID was one or two and I lived in Raleigh then that's what we would be looking for so let me go ahead and read this and it's gonna say okay my ID is one or two but what's going on here Bucky Roberts doesn't live in Raleigh so why is that selecting Bucky Roberts because what we were trying to say is okay make sure that the person has an ID of one or two which was true and they must live in Raleigh so if you scroll down here saying okay 
something went wrong here because, of course, Bucky Roberts has an idea of one, but we said, and they must live in Raleigh, and that wasn't the case. So what's going on is this. Whenever my SQL is going to read this, it's going to read it in left to right fashion. So it's going to say, okay, basically it's going to say anyone with the ID of one or anyone with the ID of two that lives in Raleigh. Okay, but that's not what we wanted. We wanted someone with the ID of one or two and someone who lives in Raleigh. So basically, it gets kind of confusing, but I'm going to show you guys what we wanted and what MySQL was looking at. We wanted something like this. We wanted someone with the ID of one or two, and we also wanted them to live in Raleigh. But whenever MySQL read this, it said, okay, I wanted someone with the ID of one or someone with the ID of two and city of Raleigh. So that's another thing I want to point out. Whenever you have something complicated that use multiple or or and statements, make sure that you use, you, you use parentheses because let me go ahead and put parentheses around this. So now when we say, okay, MySQL, this is how we meant it. Sorry for confusing you. I want someone with ID of one or two. Okay, you got that? And they must also live in Raleigh. So since Bucky doesn't live in Raleigh, he would be excluded from this result. So now when I use parentheses and go ahead and run this query, we get a different result. Noah is the only person with the ID of either one or two, and he also lives in Raleigh. So again, one last time, whenever you have multiple or and and statements, please make sure to use parentheses. And this pretty much is very important whenever you're using where with a filter. So that's all I want to point out. Um, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next lesson.